so something happened to me a few days ago let me let me explain <laughs> i just got back from work so it is a little later than i'd like to start this video it's literally 7 p.m working part-time that's how it be but i just showered i am clean oh, love that feeling but as i said something happened to me i took four days off i went to go visit my best friend in oregon and just something happened we stumbled into a bookstore as book lovers do and i got a book seemingly an average book something a little different i don't know if it's gonna be in the title of this video but a dark romance my first and you know i've seen it around it was between this book and what was the other book i was looking at something by taylor jenkins reed i think malibu rising just because it involves like you know celebrities and fun things i was like maybe i'll give that a try i read the first page of that read the first page of this and decided i think this is it and lo and behold 24 no no 48 hours later i finished the entirety of this book the first book of august the first book that i have finished within a weekend in a very very long time mind you no audiobook this is wildly impressive to me and i really had to break down how impressive this is because i'm gonna tell you the book and a lot of you watching may be like i could have guessed that or jessica you have changed <laughs> either way the book is a touch of darkness oh my book my bookmark fell yeah we were at orkin's oldest bookstore apparently that's what the bookmark says this is a dark romance, a, a fantasy retelling of Hades and Persephone's love story by um, Scarlet St. Clair. I picked this up on a whim and m <laughs> there was a night where I like couldn't go to sleep. I don't know. I was just not sleepy. So I read and then I read and then I read and it was 3 a.m. the next thing I knew and I was like, wow, I've read nearly 200 pages. What the heck? And the next day chilling with my friend next thing you know a hundred pages go by next thing you know flight back home i finished the book it's amazing i don't know if it's a five star read just because i don't want to put it next to like the poet x or whatever because it is just supposed to be a fun flirty time like literally it's a romance story between hades and persephone it 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 gave me i i'm at a loss for words because it was just so much fun what i think made this book stand out from other romances is that I actually was able to enjoy every single aspect of this book. I feel like there's a lot of dark romances where I'm like, ooh, his behavior. Oh, her behavior, illy. You know what I mean? People's behavior were kind of illy maybe in this book, but never to the point of like, I had to suspend my disbelief. No, I was rocking and rolling with everything. It was great, and she made some fabulous points in this book, such as Hades got mad that someone put their hands on Persephone, and she goes, oh, it's okay, they didn't know I was a god, and he goes, no, 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 we don't treat women like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sign me up. Oh, but the kookiness doesn't end there, because I have since grabbed a touch of ruin which is the next in the series i literally would have bought all three like there's a i think there's right now three out and there's oh, gonna be a fourth out soon so this isn't even a trilogy this is an ongoing series that i have fallen into obsession over but i couldn't because i didn't have a copy of the last book at the nearest bookstore that i it has been a part of my night routine to kind of finish and read a little of this book and i'm on page 44 now I probably won't be able to read this within 48 hours just because I am back to work. I have things to do. I, I can no longer ignore all my responsibilities and just stay up till 3 a.m. reading because I got work tomorrow at 9 a.m. But spend the weekend with me as I fantasize and have a great romantic time with these characters. Ah! I really, I'm trying my best to not buy all the books. I am going to listen to the Hades audiobook. I have it on Libby. I've heard through the grapevine that I should not read them in publication order, but I should read them 
as like this is the first installment and then read the first installment in Hades series because the events align and then the second installment with Persephone and then the second installment with Hades perspective kind of you know back and forth back and forth so I'm so excited <laughs> Quickly popping in to say a huge thank you to Ada Luisa for partnering with me on today's video. They are sponsoring my my elevation in fashion. <laughs> I truly love this brand so much. I wear their pieces all the time. I will leave a couple favorites on my screen. But I have been slumping so hard lately. As you guys know, I'm trying to get back into reading more and just enjoying life and, and just being easy, breezy, beautiful, you know, all that stuff. What really helps me is getting dressed every day and I really don't have a, a ball in budget. So Anna Luisa is great. They have really affordable pieces and they elevate my everyday clothing without like me needing to buy another outfit. I don't need to buy anything anymore. I can buy some cute necklaces and then layer them and then bam, we got a whole new outfit. Just a classic white tee. Like, literally, I'm wearing just a flannel. But yeah, I feel so fancy with some rings. Why did no one tell me that rings can make you feel so powerful? I feel the power. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm just very hyped. I am just feeling myself. When I mentioned to you that I have read A Touch of Darkness already, I did it on vacation, and you know what I brought on vacation? I literally bought so many jeans and t-shirts and some jewelry, and your girl felt so snatched. It was great. And it just, you know, helps you feel cute, and I really didn't do anything else. I really, ponytail, your girl was on vacation mode, okay? I needed to be fashionable, but make it accessible, you know what I mean? very important okay well thank you Anna Luisa for keeping your girl cute and they are also carbon neutral and they are helping the environment we love that we stand brands who care about our planet okay we need to continue only supporting those brands thank you there won't be any spoilers in this vlog but I will give you just little reactions here and there talk about scenes and moments that really that I just love and stand out. In A Touch of Darkness, we are following Persephone's perspective as she goes to New Athens. So in this world, this isn't a spoiler, this is just like the world structure. Um, in this world, in this version of Earth, the gods came down from Olympus, <laughs> caused a war, and then fixed it. And then now everyone's kind of living happily, but still in awe of the gods. They kind of have their own Met Gala of the Greek gods, which is really cool in my opinion. I was like, I when that came up, I was like, ooh, fancy. But Persephone's mom, Demeter, hid her away eh, because it, to protect her, yada yada. Is it true? Is it false? We don't know. We just know she has an overprotective mother. So when Persephone turns 18, she decides to go to New Athens, kind of like the New York of the world, um, to pursue journalism. And she's about to graduate university. She's learned that she's really smart and good at school. At the beginning of this book, she is starting an internship at a newspaper that she would love to work at when she graduates. So it means a lot to her. And she is partying one night and stumbles across Hades maybe and things maybe ensue. What made this book so amazing is the slow burn and I think I already said that so just had to put that out there. So amazing. So I'm a little concerned about book two because they've already they're already going at it in this one which is like you know fun steamy romance good we love to see it we, we love to see a happy couple but I do want to see I don't want to see them quarreling per se unnecessarily I, I want there to be actual real tension real stakes and in the second one it there's just a falling out that Hades and Persephone is kind of dealing with I don't want to spoil anything but yeah um we're 40 pages in I'm not gonna judge it too hard and this one is a bit longer than the first one so that's where I'm at yay Okay, so tonight all I really have to do is make a thumbnail for a video that I want to publish tomorrow. I want it to go up even if I'm at work tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm going to schedule it for the video for 9 a.m. So everything can be just right as rain. Get back into my YouTube grind. I've been saying that for years. I basically haven't been on my YouTube grind since college consistently. So we're fixing that hopefully soon. <laughs> Me. yeah so gotta make a thumbnail gotta feed myself I already showered I did laundry yesterday oh I gotta buy groceries that's it okay 
So after I do my, my little to-do list of adulting, I'm gonna get back to my fancy dark romance. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite dark romance? It doesn't have to be necessarily dark. It could be fantasy. I think romanticy is the new term. Uh, romance fantasy, where romance is the, at the forefront of the plot and there's fantasy as like plot beat. <laughs> so let me know what's your favorite because I might, I might get more into it. Okay, I just did the responsible thing and I bought groceries. Sadly, they will not come until Monday. It is Saturday, but it's okay. I will just keep eating the sad amount of foods that I have, which are basically eggs and toast, which is fine. We love that. Um, finish that and then let me show you the progress I made on my thumbnail. I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I make my thumbnails. Okay, here's the progress so far. So I have a blurred photo of the bookshelf as it is now completed. So it's a little blurred and I'm going to put bookshelf organization on top. I found this funny screenshot of me. Um, and then I think I have to take a photo of the stack. You literally can't see it because of the chaos that's happening behind Let me. That's a, a little a little bit better of an image. So I'm gonna put the stack of the books that I hold on this side, and then, yeah, my reaction, and then I'm gonna put text like book haul and book organization. So yeah, that's the video that's coming out tomorrow. So I do have to pull those books out from my shelf, sadly, because I wasn't smart and I didn't take the photo before. So you can kind of see the bookshelves behind me. I, I did a massive organization video, which I'm very proud of, and I did go a little rogue on it. I don't know if you can tell if the rainbow is complete or not. Y'all, I low-key think I'm a genius. At work, I got a side of fries. I need something quick. I'm starving, so I got fries, but at home, I have chili and cheese, so I threw some chili and cheese on top, and I reheated the fries, warmed up the chili, and the cheese is gonna be all gooey, and I'm so excited. I am low-key a genius. We love that for me. And then also gonna be watching the anime. Do you know the anime? Do you? It is Tomo-chan is a girl, and it's about this badass girl who has a crush on this guy who only sees her as a friend kind of so he's kind of the clue clueless one which i love because shoujo manga is normally the girl is the clueless one and now this one is the guy being clueless but also they are both extremely violent which is hilarious so having a fun time watching this gonna eat this and hopefully uh curl up into bed and start reading at around nine that's the goal we'll see if one anime maybe two animes and then i'll be ready to start my reading time Ooh. What up, friends? It's the uh, following day, the first free day in a bit. Um, so technically not weekend anymore, but we're still rolling with it. We're still trying to read A Touch of Ruin. I made it to the 100 page mark and I have decided to download the audiobook to help me. I think I had a lot of free time when I was with my friend where I literally spent like all day reading and chilling with her, whereas now I'm more tired. <laughs> I'm a little pooped from work here and there and obviously like it's nighttime right now. Today I spent most of the day relaxing. Because I feel like yesterday hit me like a ton of bricks. So, and then I decided to do my hair today. It was just like a little bit of a slower self-care day. What's the best way to end a self-care day? By reading. <laughs> reading is my, I, I feel like, the biggest de-stressor for me. And I really want to just get back into doing it normally. And that's the goal. Uh, but we'll see. Yesterday, I did not read at all. I, I clocked out so hard. And tonight, I'm hoping to read, uh, hopefully, like an Andrew. Like 100 pages we'll, we'll see but i'm enjoying this story i think i told you last we spoke that something finally interesting happened not to be mean to this book but like we had the standard all oh, my best friends doing this all oh, my hubby's doing that oh hades and persephone this and that we've done that so now i'm like give me intrigue give me stakes because obviously first book all the stakes because we had to see this whole couple develop a relationship now they have developed something and i think this book is gonna prove that did you guys develop a healthy relationship probably not probably filled with lying and manipulation we'll see i hope it get, i hope it actually gets to lying and manipulation just a little bit i want i want some toxic romance that's what i thought i signed up for and in the first book 
I will, the first book was perfect, okay? I, I expected toxicity, but he ended up being a great guy. And now I'm like, yes. But a touch of darkness, a touch of ruin. I, I want the stakes to go up. You know what I mean? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. So here's hoping for that. Now I'm going to get to reading. <laughs> my hair's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, the thing I guess that would happen happened. Ever since coming back, uh, starting work and things, I have not been reading. I'm on page 90 of A Touch of Ruin, and I am sad because it's just got interesting, as I last told you. Some ish went down. I am here for her, Persephone, taking down another god. I really want to see it, but uh, I haven't had the time to, so today is a semi-free day. I did book a commercial, so I have a fitting tomorrow and shoot Friday, and I have an audition I have to get off book for. So there's things that I should be doing too, so I have to balance today. I do kind of want to finish this today. That's probably unrealistic, but I want to, okay? Let me have my unrealistic goals, okay? You know, I felt like showing you, this is like my aesthetic shot, like, ooh, I'm reading the book, ooh, la la, I'm in bed, the bookshelves look beautiful, I'm so comfy, right? Right? What do I actually look like reading? Like this. Like a wad of hair. I have a pillow here supporting my neck, got my other pillows stacked up. I am just a wad of hair. <laughs> Y'all, it's it's been many, many hours, but I'm 200 pages into A Touch of Ruin and I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. I ended up going to the movies and watching Blue Beetle, which I thought was hilarious. Thank you, George Lopez. You're hilarious. Um, but very cute. It, it was like Black Panther meets Spider-Man, basically. Like, the Black Panther story- I don't- logic. I'm not- I'm not gonna get into it too much. I don't want to spoil too much. And y'all might not even like DC. I'm a big superhero fan. I love all superhero movies. MCU is peak, you know? Phase one through three were amazing. Okay, I digress. Uh, yes, a touch of ruin. I'm loving it. <laughs> I really want to kick one particular god in the earth. Super bad. He deserves it. <laughs> um, so I hope I hope he faces consequences. But yeah, I'm like literally only halfway through this book. <laughs> so we will try and read more tomorrow but tomorrow I have a commercial shoot and I'll try and shoot a little I literally don't want to get in trouble um because your girl wants to be an actor for the rest of her life and I don't want productions hating me <laughs> being you know a vlogger and just coming on and vlogging on set probably is very unprofessional I know for a fact it's very unprofessional people don't even like it when you wear too much perfume on set because it can be really annoying if you're in an enclosed space so I'm just gonna maybe take some photos, maybe insert them here, who knows. But my call time is 7.30 and it's in North Hollywood. So I have to wake up at like five, I throw coffee down my throat, slap on some makeup and get going. <laughs> it's gonna be an early day, but hopefully I'll wrap early too so I can come home, nap and keep reading. I'm so excited to finish this book, oh my God. I think, yeah. Romance has just been such a vibe lately. I need to try and do one more romance reading vlog before it gets into like the fall spirit, you know what I mean? So, very excited. Also, happy that I'm back in a vloggy, chatty mood. I think you've noticed this vlog is probably very chatty, especially the first day I started vlogging. I was so excited. I'm still very excited, but right now it's like 10.30 and I really need to be winding down since I'm waking up so early tomorrow. But yeah, that's it. That that's the reading update. I also am trying some new skincare and it's making me look very greasy and it slightly burns. That's probably not good, right? <laughs> okay, friends. I am gonna wrap up the vlog here because I do want to try and get this up tomorrow. Will this video be up on Friday? Who knows? You'll be able to tell. Comment down below if you're watching this right now. Say hello. It would mean the world to me. I love talking to you guys. I'm going to try and do some reading sprints on this Sunday because I just feel so disconnected, so unmotivated. And I feel like, I don't know if it's the whole Mercury and retrograde or whatever the heck, all that fancy verbiage, it might be that. I think I'm just in a, in a bit of a slump and I have a lot of change on the horizon. Student loans are coming in. I know for all of us, that was a true word. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry for bringing them up. And then I'm 26 and I gotta get new health insurance on my own and I'm a diabetic lady who needs insulin. There's just a lot of change happening and I'm not ready to adult this hard, okay? I'm not. <laughs> But it's gonna happen without my <laughs> acceptance. It's not gonna ask me for permission. It's happening. It's currently happening. Aging every day. So the this this book series has been a respite for my little brain and I'm very happy. I have like 150 pages left, but I'm going on vacation soon. So I won't be able to finish this and update you guys quickly. So I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here. Hopefully this ends up being a four star read. I Did I tell you that I ended up giving this four stars? Like my heart kind of wants to give it a five star, but I think it's just because I haven't finished a book that quickly and that was that exciting in a very long time. So I think four star and I'm hoping for another four star. I just need her to bring down this god, okay? There's this god in here who is the enemy. He is my enemy. I no long, I never liked him and I don't don't like him and I will never like him and I hope she ends him reputation and everything ruined okay I'm done being dramatic but yeah I, I I'll update you on the community page maybe or just stay subscribed and you'll hear about me talk about this in the next video I am going on vacation for a little bit so I probably am going to have a few other videos planned but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video again thank you to Anna Louisa huge shout out again I love working with them I love their pieces genuinely if you guys enjoy their pieces as well or just want some more affordable but beautiful simple pieces in your collection definitely check them out if you click the link it really helps my channel out oh, and then they keep sending me jewelry and i love it <laughs> but obviously no pressure you watching this and making it to the end of this chatty little video i welcome you to the nerdy girl club okay the nerdy girl book club okay the nerdy brown girl book club that's, that's this quarter of the internet is that even if you are none of those things you're like jess i'm not nerdy girl I, I don't even read like i don't i don't subscribe to that you've joined a club haha <laughs> you're welcome you are now my friend by force a friendly force a little poke in the internet okay i'm done being weird thank you for watching i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below an emoji that makes you happy. Is it the rainbow emoji? Is it the sunshine emoji? Is it a smiley face emoji? Is it a gross emoji? Like, is it the poop emoji? Because mine would be the poop emoji. Forever and always my favorite. Okay, I will see you next week. Bye-bye!